Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're doing fantastic today. I'd like to start off by saying thank you for being here. Um, So we've got a bunch of this NCUC hype going on right now. Um, We've got Neopets announcing that they are dropping fairies, greys, and derrigans um in the nc mall and um i do want to rate all of the derrigan pets so i have here um a little list i have been struggling a bit in my last uh couple videos to figure out what i want to name the tiers so this one here my s tier is going to be called a dairy dreamy so these are going to be the derrigans that I think are the absolute best. And then we're gonna have here, A tier is gonna just be called Boss Fight because I definitely think that a lot of these Derrigans, some of the better ones look like like high level bosses. <laughs> and then we have Batty because a lot of these are just like really good, you know, like bad guys, I guess, so to say. And then we have could be badder, right? Like instead of could be better, there could be badder. Um, you know, pets that kind of leave a little bit to be desired. And then um, doesn't stand a chance is going to be my lowest tier. And that's kind of like the these <laughs> pets don't stand a chance against uh, the... Uh, protagonist in my made-up scenario. <laughs> so that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the Akara. So the Derrigan Akara is um, kind of like really cute, you know, for a little Akara. Um, I like that the ears are kind of flayed. I like the horns. She does kind of look like a baddie, all right? Like, that's really not that, not that bad. Like, you know, she looks a little mean. Like, she, she's not going to take any shit. So, I'm going to go ahead and put her here in baddie. The Derrigan Aisha, in my opinion, is a very good design, I love the sleekness to her. She definitely looks like she would be the boss villain in a random scenario, uh, like a video game. And um, I am honestly tempted to put her up in Dreamy, but I'm not uh 100 sold but i definitely don't want to put her any lower than boss fight okay she is a very solid design in my opinion um the derrigan bloomeru is pretty interesting in my opinion um he's got this like bad looking smirk like you know he's plotting something evil i love that he's standing on his tail as bloomeroos and mirkas both should be um in my opinion i love his little bat wings you know i th i just i think he's pretty cute to be a little schemer um i'm tempted to put him up in batty because i like um, the old style that they're calling nostalgia. I like the nostalgic um, Bloomeroos. So I'm going to put him here. I feel like, I feel like, yeah, that's where we're going to put him. All right. Derrigan Drake is a very dope looking pet. Um, I've just noticed that a lot of my pets are out of order um that's okay we're not doing alphabetical it doesn't matter that's fine um I don't know I just I love that he's got this like very dragon you know style to him that stands out amongst the other um UC or nostalgic drakes like I don't know what it is exactly but he definitely looks really cool in my opinion i kind of want to put him in dreamy 
but um, I think I'm going to put him here next to the Aisha. I don't know why I'm being so critical over these guys. Like, I don't know why. That's totally fine, though. <laughs> um, can we talk about the Darigan Galert? Okay, I'm, I'm referencing Jelly Neo here. Okay, this is the current... Darigan Galer. It doesn't look bad. This is the current UC Darigan Galert. And um, can you can someone tell me is do, do y'all notice something missing from this guy? Y you know something something that you know. I mean, not all not all dogs have all four of them, but I don't think it was intended. For him to be missing a whole freaking leg. Um, especially considering that the old nostalgic, quote unquote, UC art um, had the leg back there. I just think that this was an oversight. Somebody forgot to give him his fourth leg. Okay. I mean, you could you could call it a, a, a wound from the war if you want. But I, I really don't think that that was intentional. Um... I'm not going to take points off of it for that because I know Neopets addressed it. They said they're going to fix it. So I'm going to assume that they're going to give him his fourth leg. Um, so besides that, I like the face a lot. The face kind of reminds me of like old 90s Disney, um, you know, animals uh, that not a lot of other Neopets do for me. Um, and I really do like that. I love that he's a red base and I love the wings on him. I definitely think that he is a really solid pet. Um, that being said, I now want to go ahead and put these two up in dreamy status because I think that he would be a boss fight and then these are just dreamies these are like the boss's boss okay he's more than a baddie he's a boss um speaking of bosses we have the Darigan Grarl this guy is serious okay like ugh, let's not look at the okay let's look at the the mean like Grarl <laughs> mouth okay I love the fact that he's yellow like that looks so menacing um for him I love that he's got like a an oozle um fringe around his neck uh I just I don't know I think he looks dope right like honestly the more I see you see Grarls the more I love Grarls like not even kidding um He's definitely, he's definitely boss status. Like, he's like final boss, right? Um, I'm definitely going to put him up here on boss fight. He's definitely better than the, um, Galert, in my opinion, okay? So, next we're going to talk about the Mirka. I don't know why my stuff is so out of order. Okay, we're going to talk about the Derek and Mirka and how he legitimately looks. We're not going to look at the at the current one. All right, the <laughs> the current um you see Derek and Mirka just looks so bad, but like in a good way, right? And I mean, but can we acknowledge the original artwork for the Derek and Mirka and how he just looked so much more evil. I don't know what it is about him. Like, yeah, he looks evil here, but there's just a little something extra menacing in the smile and grimace that he has back in, I don't know, the old pre-conversion days. All right. Now we're not going to hold that against him because I definitely think that this art stands on its own. I love, once again, that we are seeing the Mirka on his tail because, as I said in a previous video, you know that the 
Mirkas are depressed when they are not standing on their tail, right? Because the current converted Mirkas look like this where they're not standing on their tail. And for proof to that pudding, you have here sick Mirka on his back, sad Mirka on his feet. All the other Mirkas, except for the attacking ones, are on his tail, right? So my theory tracks. Now, that being said, talking about the design a little bit more, I love his tiny little horns, you know, and um, his claws. I just, I don't know. I think he looks really cool. Um, I, I think that he's, I don't know, I think that he's like a solid baddie. Like, I almost want to put him in boss fight because he's just like that good. Like, I could see him being like a high level boss. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick him in boss fight. I actually, yeah, I think, I'm, I think, I, I think he's better than the galert. Okay. And, and I like the galert a lot. All right. So like, don't, don't at me. Don't at me. All right. Now we're going to take a look at the Derrick and Lenny. And the Derrick and Lenny is just looks freaking evil. Okay. I, I mean, okay, old, old pre-customization Derrick and Lenny had like a, uh, I don't know, mean mug to him. But the current UC artwork for the Derrick and Lenny, like, just looks really evil. Like, I, I wouldn't say it's my favorite Lenny design, um, but it's up there, okay? I think that I, you know, you could see him working as, you know, somebody's, um, lab assistant, like an evil villain's lab assistant or something. And, um, he's, he's the guy making all the potions. He's the guy behind all of the magic, um, you know, stuff and shenanigans going on. Like he's plotting revenge on his boss as it is. All right, I'm going to I'm going to say he's a solid baddie. And he's a high baddie at that. All right. The Derek and Poogle needs help, okay? <laughs> um apparently like they are fixing a couple things about him, but I don't think they're fixing enough in my opinion, okay? Like the Derrigan Poogle has got these weird little 2D toes and his nostrils are not it. I've 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 always said that like Poogles need some like nostril holes because as a pug owner, you know that these flat-faced breeds need to breathe better and not having any nostrils is not helping that, but these nostrils are not helping at all okay these nostrils are like sentient beings coming out of his face okay um they could have done they could have done him better in my opinion okay there's there's probably a reason why this was not released and i don't think that it was just because the conversion was coming i think he he could he could be a lot oh um i think he could be a lot better um Maybe he doesn't stand a chance because this fool can't breathe and he can't walk because of these freaking toes. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Doesn't stand a chance because he can't walk and he can't breathe. The Derek and Grundo. Um, once again, I love that not all the uh, Derek and pets are purple. I definitely have an appreciation for the fact that the Grundo is red. Um, I don't know. I just, I think that that adds a lot of credence to his, um, battiness. And I don't know, like, he looks like someone you don't want to mess with because he's going to beat you up. I don't think he's dreamy status, um, personally for me, but, um, and I don't necessarily think he's a boss either, but he's definitely a baddie and he's going to fuck you up before the boss comes, right? Um, we're going to put him down here on the other side of the galert because I don't think, I don't think he's going to be as hard of a fight as the galert because I think that there's something about him. Even if he's got wings, he's slow. Okay. 
Now we're going to talk about the buzz, the Darigan buzz. And the Darigan buzz, I think, has kind of a an imbalance. Like, he's got a really large uh, backside and a really, like, sharp hornet stinger. Like, this guy, this guy's, like means some serious business but I think that there's still a lot to be desired I don't think that he's necessarily as bad as the poogle but I would not be mad if they wanted to fix up his design a little bit I'm not gonna lie um I've gained an appreciation for buzz and um this is not one of my favorites so now we're going to talk about the Darigan Bruce, and I feel like the Darigan Bruce is pretty iconic because it was one of the whole um, situations of Neopets getting caught that they can make UCs um, in the later days, and he was the center of a lot of controversy. And I'm like, for what? Um, for what? Like, no offense. I mean, the current uh, converted Darigan Bruce is like real ick. But the Darigan Bruce old style, I'm sorry, but if this is your baby, you need to do some cleansing, okay? Because I'm all about like some dark goth shit, but this guy, this guy needs help, okay? And And I don't mean like... Like, and I don't, I don't mean that he's like, uh, deranged. Cause yeah, he's deranged. Okay. But he's just, I don't know. Like he's, he's got, I don't know. He's got ick all over him and I don't know what it is about him. Okay. Um, I, I think that Bruce's could have been a lot better. Okay. I'm just saying. Now we're going to talk about the Darigan Psy Bunny. Okay, I just want to move on from the Bruce. Like, I'm over him already, all right? Darigan Psy Bunny is a freaking baddie, okay? Like, she's giving, um, don't mess with her. Like, she's going to bite you. Um, I don't know what's happening with her hind legs and her front legs. Like, it looks like they're kind of just turning into a conglomerous merge. Um, so I do hope that they're willing to fix that a little bit. I feel like the original artwork clears that up a little bit more than the newer artwork. I don't know how seeing them side by side, like they're kind of the same, but like, I don't know. Um, I feel like they could have made the bottom half of her a lot clearer if you like if you know what I mean, like, to read, right, in, in the artwork sense, um, they could make her legs a lot easier to read, but, um, her top half is really good, like, I would consider getting a Derrick and Psy Bunny, because I just think she's freaking cute, she's, like, I don't know, she's, like, good, I love the eyeshadow, I love her little, like, eyebrow. I love that her wings are broken. I love that she's purple. Um, I am a big fan of her main color. It reminds me a lot of the, um, uh, what's it called? The mutant Psy Bunny. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to put her in Batty because I don't think she's necessarily a boss fight. But I, she's definitely, she's definitely a baddie, okay. Um, now we have the Darigan Bori. And I like Boris. The Darigan UC Bori is definitely better than the converted Bori, for sure. Um, I think that he's kind of got henchman vibes so I wouldn't necessarily say that he's a boss for sure um he's 
you know, definitely scheming, but I feel like, you know, he's just, like, been dealt a bad hand, like, you know, his, he was raised by, like, the villain, and if he was just given other circumstances, he would probably be a good guy, okay? Uh, so, I'm gonna put him here in could be badder, and I think I'm gonna put him on top of the list of could be badder because he's not as bad as the other ones, but I don't I don't think he's a baddie baddie. Um Darigan Erie is genuinely one of the better Darigans in my opinion, and I feel like I'm only saying that because he looks like Lord Cass. And that just makes me want one because I have like nostalgia for it, you know? Um, I would I would own a Darrigan Eerie. I think that they look really good. I once again I do like that they're purple. I love his claws and the shine. I love the black fur around his neck. I don't know. I think he's a good, I think he's a good, like, top tier boss, okay? I'm going to say that uh, between him and the, and the Grarl, it's, it's kind of a tie between him and the Grarl, really, really. Like, they're, they're like two bosses on two different branches, you know, like, if, like, in two different cities, but they're probably just as hard to fight each other. Um, <laughs> next, we're going to talk about the Darrigan Kachik. I definitely think this guy's got henchman vibes going on, okay? Um, look at those puffy cheeks. Y he's the kind of guy, like, you could tell him, go do something. Um... And he'll get it done and then also bring you, like, coffee. You know what I mean? Like, he's going to go and he's going to do his bad stuff. But then he's also going to, like, bring back, like, a little treat. Because he also, like, loves his master and wants to make him happy. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of what he's giving for me. Because his happy face is the same as the regular face. And look at his sad face. Look at his sad face. Like he's he's just he's just a little pumpkin. And is it angry? He's like, girl, don't mess with me. You know, like he's so small and and he's not very intimidating. So um on that note, I'm gonna put him could be badder. Um I think he is badder than the Bori though. Yeah solid okay now we're gonna talk about the Derrick and Hesse and I think the Derrick and Hesse looks really dope um you see I've I'm not a huge fan of his like arm limb wings um and like I kind of wish that he had like I don't know, more, but also less going on. I don't know. I don't know how to describe how I feel about him. Um, like, it's cool that he's got a green tongue. Uh, I like his spikes, and I don't know. I like the shape of his tail. I feel like if they'd have made him a hydra, like... Derek and Hydra, I think that would have been cool. So I think he could be badder, but I don't think he's like the worst either, you know? Um, I don't know, because he's like, he's like solid. Like, he's better than all of these, in my opinion. And I don't, I'm going to put him here in baddie 
towards the top because he's not as low tier as the could be better guys. Um, but I don't think that he's boss fight status either. If he was a Hydra or something, like he definitely I think would have been boss fight status. Um, after that is the Derrigan Jetsum. And this guy, like He's like chump change. Like he's there's probably like two of these out in the very front of the castle. And you know, like they're probably guarding the castle that you have to go into and they're just like waiting outside and one of them definitely does not see you even though you're standing right next to him and you have to wait. Or it's more like you don't have to wait, but you can either go in, but you want the XP so you like walk over and talk to one of them and then they both turn at you at the same time and then engage in the fight but like you have to initiate it you know what i mean like they're like the front gatesmen that don't even freaking see you so i'm gonna say they don't stand a chance but they definitely stand slightly more of a chance than the poogle because you know you're just gonna one hit both of them so it's like you you really could have just gone inside the castle. There was no need to fight them. Um, Derrigan Ixie. Uh, can I just say, um, the more I look at Ixies, you see, the more I remember why I liked Ixies so much, and how like Ixie is probably one of my top like two maybe even th like top five for sure but maybe even top three favorite pet species the uc versions okay because like how can you like even reject wanting to get this little dude like there's just something so cute about him i i like things that are both scary and cute at the same time and this is definitely hitting both vibes for me the more I think about it the more I want to get all three tokens for Ixie <laughs> and I like was not expecting that you know I kind of love the Derek and Ixie I have an Ixie on one of my sides that I think would look so cute as a Derrigan. And I feel like he has the perfect name um, for a Derrigan Ixie. And so I think that I might end up doing that. Yeah, just spending more money on Neopets. Just me over here, low-key hoping that they don't... Uh, just have the sale for one day. Like, please, Neopets, have the sale for, like, at least a week. I get paid again on, like, the freaking end of the month. <laughs> can y'all... Can y'all, like, at least have the sale until the first? Anyway. Um... <laughs> so, now we have the Mohawk. And I know that this is one of the ones they are... Um, revamping because the line work just got, I don't know, eaten or something in this style. Um, but the Mohawk, in my opinion, doesn't look that bad. Like, I think that he's got, um, potential to be, a you know, real baddie. But, you know, he's just trying He's just trying to, like, work his way up minion status. Like, he really wants to be, like, the best minion possible. Like, he wants to be promoted from minion to, like, mini boss. You know what I mean? Um, so, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like he's a baddie. He's just not one of the better baddies, despite him trying his hardest. The Derrigan Shoiru definitely has uh, Peppa Pig energy still. Um, 
you just you can't take the Peppa Pig out of the Shoiru as much as you want. It has a lot of potential. I like the spots on the wings. Um, honestly, I like the circle version a lot more with like the serious face. Like they look a lot better, right? Um, in this style. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the angry one. Like, it turned real cartoony real quick. And is, I feel like, definitely is giving more Peppa Pig energy. Um, I don't know. The smile's not just, just not doing it for me. I almost, I almost like the converted Shoiru more than the UC Shoiru. And, uh, that might... That might be a controversial opinion, but that is what it is. And, yeah. Uh, definitely could be better. Right there next to the Bori, but under the Bori. Um, the Derrigan Uni. I, know, I noticed something interesting with the Derrigan Uni. Let me see. Um, yeah, so... Derrigan Uni... This is the current UC. This is the original circle version. So the current UC is like happy version, but like slightly different. Um, uh, granted, the pre-customization one, the older one that's happy, kind of has like a derpy thing going on. I don't know what it is. But, like, there's something a lot cooler about the circle version. And I don't know. Like, the current UC Derrigan's got, like, that derpy thing going on that the uh, happy version had. I, I don't know what it is exactly. I think, I definitely think that the uni, in both regards, really... But especially this one could have been a lot better. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to say that right off the bat. The um, Derrigan Jub Jub is interesting to me because, like, he looks so much better in the circle version, even the happy version, okay, of the old style looks better than um, whatever this current UC is. And it took me a minute to figure out what it was different between the two. And it's because the eyes, the pupil is vacantly staring off versus the older one the pupil is cut off slightly by the eyebrow slash eyelid whatever and that makes him more menacing okay that was the main thing that I noticed between the two and I just think that it makes that much more of a difference because all of the pre-customization poses for the Jub Jub have the eye the pupil cut off by the eyebrow slash um, eyelid and it really makes a difference like they even did that with the converted one and in my opinion the converted one actually looks better than the current UC one but I would still take the pre-customization jub jub over both of them okay so just fix the pupil. That's my only one ask. Like, Neopets, please, if you watch my videos at all, that is my one ask. Like, please just fix the pupil. Bring the pupil just, like, a millimeter higher and cut it off a little bit and it will improve him 10 out of 10. Okay? Like, that's it. If you were trying to figure it out yourself, that's it. I solved it for you. So... I'm going to put him down at could be batter because as he sits, he's just like a vacant derp uh, minion that's just going to sit there and collect dust because you're going to tell him to do something a hundred times and he's going to be like, all right, I got this boss and then just sit there. 
and collect dust. And you're like, bro, go do this. And he's just going to sit there and be like, yeah, all right, I got this. I'll go. I'll, yeah. But then he's not going to do anything. That's what those eyes tell me. So, um, on the complete flip side of the coin, the Derrigan Kogra um, just looks so cool to me. I have a Derrigan Kogra converted now, and I like him converted. Like, I don't really like the converted Kogras as much as the old Kogras, but I like my Derrigan Kogra. Um... Now, that being said, I'm probably going to buy him a UC token because Derrick and Cobras are dope as shit. Um, they did a good job, I think, um, when they converted him, except for, like, certain things like the tail. Like, why is his tail nub so chunky? And, um, don't get me started on the wings. I got a problem with all the wings on the converted pets. But, uh, and then the eyes, oh, of course. Okay, so we're not going to do that because then I'll get mad about my current Derrigan converted pit. Okay, <laughs> so talking about just the UC Derrigan, I think he looks dope. Um, I think that they could have spread the wing out a little bit so that he doesn't have this little horn sticking out at the top of his head, which I know is just the tip of his wing. Um... But that's just me being nitpicky. I love the little, like, glare in his eye. Like, he's just, I don't know. He's dope. I think he's cool. Do I think he's, like, a final boss? Mm, not really. He's probably a mini boss. But do I think that he could do some serious damage? Like, yes, absolutely. I think that he's definitely got, like, um a good chance to mess you up. Okay, I'm going to put him here next to the Mirka and the Grarl. And I think that's solid. Okay, and then we have the Derrigan Curie, which I like that it's a different color, but there's something about it that's just, it makes it feel very more Halloween than Derrigan, you know? Um, it looks pretty much the same as the original, so I'll give it credit. I like, you know, spot texture on the arms. Like, I'm always a fan of that. Um, the mane looks good. But, it, look, once again, it kind of reminds me of the Halloween Kiri. So, that being said, I definitely think that he could be better. Um, I'm going to put him here next to the Bori and the Shoiru. Um, the Derrigan Corbat, in my opinion, looks really cool. Um, he looks like Lord Derrigan, minus the jaw, except he looks cooler than Lord uh, Derrigan without the jaw because there was like some weirdness with him and his jaw being like skeleton sometimes and not others but um, that being said I think he looks cool I think it's a solid design I love the tattered wings I love the tattered ears I I think he looks cool I would own a Derrigan Corbett 100% um, would I call him a dreamy probably not do I think he's a boss I mean, if we're talking about, you know, Lord Cass and Derrick and Eerie being clones and, you know, Corbat and Lord Derrick being clones, uh, maybe, but I don't think he's going to fuck you up the same way that Cass would. I mean... Uh, you know, eerie cast. Uh, I'm going to put him... Yeah, You know what? I think he would do more damage than the Grundo, though. Yeah. I'm going to... No, you know what? Yeah, because he's probably about on par 
with the uh Mir Mirka. Yeah. Solid. Um, all right, and then we've got the cow, which I mean why is he so cute? Like, I know cows are cute. They're supposed to be cute. But once again, he looks kind of more menacing. And I just think that they could have really made him look eviler. Like, if they really leaned in with, like, the bull thing and made him, like, bulkier and kind of gave him, like, I don't know, just more menacing, like, lowered his head and, like, punched his back. And they really could have made him look, like really cool and evil so I definitely think that he could have been badder for sure for sure um as part of that testament um the Derek and Mincy in my opinion looks badder than the uh Derek and Cow like they really didn't change much with the uh converted Derek and Mincy, did they? Like, other than the stupid hand. Um, I, I, I don't know. This might be one of my favorite UC Mincy's. Um, just because I like the scary cute thing. He kind of reminds me of, like, one of those baby vampires. Uh, I think he's adorable. I am going to put him up here next to the Kachik because... Yeah, I just, I think that, you know, could he really be badder? I mean, he's a mincy. So there's that. That's probably what's holding him back. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I think that he looks as good as he's going to get. You know? So there's that. Um, Then we got the Derrick and Piafin. And I don't know. Like, Derrick and Piafin looks pretty cool. I like... The hairy hooves. I like that she looks a bit hairier. Um, I think I prefer Happy Derrick and Piafin just a little bit because the tail is like, there's something weird about the tail to me. I don't know if it's just like too long and lanky, um, like too stringy. Like how does this tail become this? I know it's like probably a perspective thing. Like even the angry one. Um, so yeah, like none of these tails equate to whatever whooshiness this is going on here. And I, I like whooshy, you know, things like alert antler ears and alert tails and stuff like, but <laughs> It's like, it's like wishy here for no reason, you know? Um, so I don't know. I think, I think it could be badder. I wish he was a baddie. Um, I don't want to put him above Mohawk though. Because I just think that she's badder than Mohawk. So that being said, I think I'm going to throw Mohawk down a little bit. A lot of it. Yeah. I'm going to put him in this next tier. And then seeing him next to these other guys. I feel like that's probably where he fits. Um, we're going to talk about one of my favorite ones now. The Derrick and Loop. Who is just so stinking cute. Where is he? Here he is. Um, Derrick and Loop. We're not talking about that one. We're talking about this one. He. I don't know what it is about him. I don't know if it's just nostalgia goggles, but I just think he looks so cool. Um, his, like, holy wings. I don't know, those black spots? I always thought they were holes when I was a kid. But I think they're black spots. Um, he just looks so cool. Like, he could really mess you up. Like, he's probably just a mini boss now that I'm, like, really looking at him and scrutinizing him. Um, but he's going to mess you up. Like, he's really going to block you off from getting to the main boss, okay? Like, if you put him and the Kogra in a room together, like, 
they're they're like this like this trio oh my god these trio right here even probably the mirka like if if you had all of these to fight at once like you you would just you would succumb like that would be it you can't you couldn't get past them if you had to fight them all they would overtake you um we definitely need to talk about the Derrigan Teco like this deranged bro um he's also got his line art fixed um coming up soon um i think that he looks really cool whatever is going on with this sad one is terrifying to me like this is sleep paralysis demon terrifying like he's not sad because he's like actually sad like he's crying because he has just lost his mind and there's just drool coming out of his eye, okay? Like, he's terrifying. Um, the... Derek and Teco is really a force to be reckoned with. Like, he would be hard AF to fight because you know that this crazy... MFR is bouncing off the walls, moving so fast you can barely aim at him. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna put him up here in batty and I'm gonna put him next to the hissy. Like he could almost be mini boss status, but I'm I'm just I'm gonna keep him there for now. Um, and then we got the Darigan Tonu and when Tonus came out, I really thought they were pretty cute. I, I don't know what it is. I like how, like, I think they elongated his uh, horn on his nose. Um, you know, I, I don't know how I feel about him being this, like, dark green color and the teal. Like, maybe if he was, like, purple and teal, that would have looked cooler. Um, but he kind of just looks like a green Tonu, like, like you could almost tell me that this was, uh, Tyranian color and I'd probably believe you, you know what I mean? Like if you're just looking at it for the first time. So this definitely could have been a lot better, but I think that horn's going to mess you up. So he's definitely better than doesn't stand a chance, guys. But, uh, probably only a little bit above the jub jub yeah um Derrigan Scorchio is menacing like he's really plotting he's plotting hard but you know what he's plotting about he's plotting to steal your dinner not so much your life um he's like I have come up with the most dubious plan in the world and it's probably to like take you out to dinner so that you can order your food and then create a distraction that you have to go to so that he could then sit back down and eat both your and his dinner that's probably what he's plotting you know what i mean um he's his wings I don't really know what's going on with, like, these extra little doodads. Uh, I feel like there's something more that could have been done to him, but I don't know what that would have been. Um, maybe they could have, like, leaned him into Flying Dragon a little bit more or something like that and made him look more menacing, like, give him a little bit of that Teco vibe that we just saw. Um, I do think that he's better than most of these could be batters, um, but not by much, not by much. Derrigan Skeeth looks so natural in the Derrigan color, in my opinion. Um, this is another one that the line work is going to be worked on or has been worked on. Um, but I just, I think the Derrigan color on Skeeth is just so fitting. It works so well, in my opinion. Um, the pose, yes, could have been more dynamic. 
but I just, I don't know. I think it works really well. Um, I would not mind a Derrigan Skeeth in my life. I'm going to put him in a solid baddie. I think that he go right here next to the Psy Bunny because he really holds his own. Talking about another one of my favorites, the Derrigan Walkie. I just... I, I don't like walkies, okay? Like, I, that's no secret. And I really like the Derrigan walkie. The one big thing that I feel is missing um, from the Derrigan walkie is its wing. Because, like, I think that that's part of its wing and that that's part of its wing. But it's... Uh, I don't know, it's too low. I think that it could have been seen better uh, in general. But I love the expression. I love the horns. Um, body spots I like. And the tail being all fluffy. And just the expression, the pose. Everything is working really well for me, in my opinion. So, look at the happy face. It's just so menacing. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I have a... Uh, Derrigan walkie pin from Hot Topic and I originally was like that wasn't one of the ones I was looking for but I am happy that I got it so I'm gonna say boss fight status but only higher than the Galert yeah uh actually no I'm gonna put her one step up and put her above the Mirka because I think she's gonna cat scratch you just a little bit harder um, we also have here the Derrigan Zafara, and, um, I think this is another one that the line work's going to be worked on. The Derrigan Zafara, I just, I think looks pretty cool. Like, I, I like that he's red. I like the wings, the horns on the tail. Um, I, I kind of love the sad one the most, not going to lie, just because it's got that, like, cuteness factor that, like, offsets, like, the super, um, not super scary, but, like, you know, it just, like, offsets him a little bit. He reminds me of, like, a, like, a demon more so than, um, a boss monster or anything like that. Um, I do think he's a baddie so I'm gonna put him up uh here next to the side bunny on the other side okay and then we have the Derrigan Teary who definitely looks like he's just smug he's like happy he's like haha I've done something wrong and I didn't get caught yet. Ha ha. But little does he know that the hero is on his way already. Um, and is about to pop in at the uh, Tyrion's lair and mess him up big time. Um, I like the fluffiness of the tail. I like the little spikes on his back. I'm definitely a fan of, you know, the black fluff fur I don't know what more they could have done with him he's a teary and um but I do think that they did a good job with him in general um do I think he doesn't stand a chance no um do I think he could be better No, I feel like he's a baddie. I feel like... Yeah. I feel like he's pretty solid. I'm going to put him right here next to the Bloomeru. Um, now we're going to talk about another one of my personal favorites. The Derrigan Croc. Um, part of the reason why I listed these as baddies is because I think that the Derrigan Croc looks like a boss monster, okay? He looks like 
you know, the kind of boss that you step up to. And he's, like, really ready to mess you up. Like, his only weakness is that he's a little bit on the slower side, which means that he's going to be easier to get. But if he hits you, you're out in, like, two hits. Okay? Um, but it's pretty. he's pretty easy to dodge. All right? So that's what I'm thinking. Um, he is just one of my favorites. Like, period. I think that they did a really good job with him, and um, I think that this was one of the biggest injustices in the uh, Neopets conversion, because look at this guy. This is a boss, and this is his derpy-ass cousin who you send to go take care of one of your enemies, and he completely botches the job and comes back, and he's like, I got my ass kicked. Okay, you don't trust this guy. You don't trust the cousin, dude. Okay, and, and boss man knows it. And he's like, I, I only have you here because you're family. That is the only reason. I would have, like, had you assassinated years ago. And he's, like, super smug and conceited. And he's like, Ugh, nobody can fucking touch me because my cousin's the boss. And he's just like, I fucking hate this guy. Like, that's, that's their dynamic. So, this guy, I'm just going to stick him up here in Dreamy because I love these two. And the more I think about it, the more I want. I'm definitely going to get me an Ixie. And I, I do like, I do like these guys a lot. Okay. All right. Um, we're down to the final two. We have the Derrigan Usul that just looks wrong on so many levels. She's not supposed to be this. This is like a factory accident gone wrong. Like somebody accidentally put their Usul in the washing machine with their dark clothes. And this is what they got on the other side. She's red-eyed because of the, the soaps and the, you know, detergents. Her expression is vacant because she just went through the freaking spin cycle and almost drowned in the washer machine. Um, you know, she's messed up, okay? Like, she's messed up. They really did an injustice to Usul in Derrigan, in my opinion, from the get-go, because she could have been a baddie. She could have been a real baddie. Okay? Like, Usul's iconic AF, but they were like, we can't, we can't make her too scary. She's a Usul. But they didn't, they didn't do it right. Whatever this washing machine reject is, is not it. She can't stand a chance. Um, like, I almost hate her more than the Poogle. She doesn't stand a freaking chance. Um, okay, and then... The... Final is the Derrigan Yerbal, and I am a big fan of Yerbals, especially UC Yerbals. But if I'm being honest, I don't know how I feel about the Derrigan Yerbal. Um, it's not doing much for me. I feel like he could have been better. Um, he's just kind of like that derpy mini boss that like you don't have to work too hard to fight um you just have to like get high enough level and it's like you've got this in the bag you know what i mean like he's just he's just like not got great moves you know his hit doesn't do too much damage um he's probably got a lot of hp cuz he's like a tank and like that's the only uh you know, hard part about fighting him. You know what I mean? Like, he's just not doing too much. So, I definitely think he could be badder. Um, 
But he's he's definitely high on the list. Like, I'll probably put him here at the top of could be batter. Okay. And I think that that covers it. Um, are there any revisions I want to make while I'm here? Because I think that I've actually been keeping up and moving everybody where they should be as I've felt it out. And, yep, this is my final list. Um, overall, the Derrigans, pretty solid pets. Uh, I definitely have my personal favorites. These are the four that I probably would get. I'm thinking about getting the, um, I'm definitely thinking about getting the, the Cogra because I already have one. I would get Loop, but I'm feeling like it might just be for nostalgia reasons. I would get a Walkie and a... Corbat right now, this is probably my favorite Corbat, period. Uh, but I don't have either of these pets on any of my accounts, so I probably won't be doing that. Um, I would also get a Derrigan Grarl and a Derrigan um, Eerie if I didn't want, if I didn't care about spending all my money. Um, and then I would probably also get a uh, Derek and Skeeth once again if I didn't care about my bank account. Um the your the Jub Jub I would get if they fixed his eyes, okay? So please Neopets listen to me. Fix his eyes up, okay? That's all you're missing for him. Um alright, so let me know what you think. Who do you what do you agree with? Um are there any uh, Derrigan pets that are your favorite that I completely and utterly decimated and destroyed. Um, who are you going to get when the NCUCs drop in uh, a couple hours? Maybe by the time this video has gone live, uh, it'll have dropped already. So let me know down in the comments who your NCUC Derrigan pets are going to be. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.